G'day mates, how's it going? I'm Mr. GT, welcome to the channel. Today you join me for a different type of a video, we're going to be doing a little bit of maintenance on my AMG E55. So, to start off, what we're going to do is, we're going to be cleaning the air filter. I've never changed it, I've never looked at it since I've bought the car and I've had it for five years, so you know, give me a slap on the wrist for that one. But yeah, I finally decided to do it and we've got my friend Tony Botic and Luca, the guys that own the C63 and they're going to help me do it. So we're going to film it for you guys so that you can do it on your cars. So sit back, relax and enjoy the video! <laughs> And ladies and gentlemen, don't forget, I'm going to be giving one of these away to a lucky subscriber as soon as we hit 1,000 subscribers. So, pound the subscribe button, and once we reach 1,000 subscribers, I'll give you instructions on how we're going to go about the contest. Alright ladies and gents, the first step is to pop your bonnet. <laughs> Seriously, eh? <laughs> Alright, so Luke's going to pop the bonnet open for us. We'll show you how that's done. This is compressor. <laughs> this gives me 150 horsepower. Only. <laughs> Extra. <laughs> okay, so it comes with two air boxes. We've got one over here and one over here. Yeah. Alright, we'll get the uh, hex screw driver. And open them up. And we'll see how black oh, these things a... are. It's been about five years. And who knows when the owner had cleaned them before me. I don't, didn't get to speak to the owner because I bought it from a um, dealer. So we don't know. We'll find out very, very soon. Wheeler dealer. So I'll just loosen it. Yeah, first. mate, she's running dry. Yep. There's just a few screws that you've got to go like that one. One, two, about three, six. four, five, six screws. There you go. Just to get an air filter out. You can need a degree in um, unscrewing screws. All right, so who made this engine? D. Giuseppe. Oh, yeah, ladies and gentlemen, while we're at Giuseppe. it, might as well show you who's done my engine. It's Francisco D. Giuseppe. There you go, I feel like a pizza already. So I would say, <laughs> I would say um, yeah, an Italian guy working at AMG. I know there is a Greek guy there. I've seen a few engines built by a Greek. I can't remember the name. Tassos. But there is. There you go. It's a length of the screw. So it looks like a. A little bit long. <laughs> <laughs> no, we won't put that. Alright, so we showed you where all the screws were, the six of them, and we're just yep. pulling out the last one now. And all you've got to do then is just lift, lift the up. cover up. There's no need to remove the actual pipes. And here's she your just in. Rolls out. Oh, mate. Look at that. Look how clean that is, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, there's Perfect. the problem. So this is what we're doing. We're going to clean this. Get all the gunk out. Okay. And we'll put another one on the other side, but we'll do that later. Yeah, look at that. Look, all this came out, all this dust. So you can film that if you want. Yes, actually. We can see that. Oh, yeah. Wow. Look at the mountain of it. And I'm not even hitting it hard. Gonna have to give it more hits than Lilbert's Presley. Yeah. Cops. So all this is coming out. Look at that. Wow. All this, is, this is why you're losing power at the drag day, for mm. example. Your um, time and your top end and your fuel consumption, all that suffers. And then we'll uh, wash it out, it'll be like brand new. And this is why I recommend cleaning this every 5,000 Ks, three to 5,000, not, not 10,000, every three to five. Well, not 40,000, like I've left it and probably even more before the yeah, previous owner. I mean, look, look at the gunk coming out. And um, yeah, when I get the other one, I'm going to bang the two together and even more will come out. And then we'll wash it. And uh, yeah, trust me, your butt dyno will feel the difference. Mmm. <laughs> Good dyno, that one. Yeah, so basically, same story. Um, 
that the second one comes off. Here's the second one. Same yeah. story. See how it's all black and it's got all the yeah, all the little um, little tree rocks or whatever and insects and animals yeah. inside there. So the filter's doing its work. As you can see, it's clean on this side, but this mm. is filthy. Uh, as you can see with my hands, and we'll go bang them together, and yeah. um, you'll see, see all the shit coming out of it. But yeah, definitely, you will feel Might the difference. Might have a bit of extra soil for your garden, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Why not? Okay. Are we on? Yeah. yeah. So basically, this is the second one we got out. We've already cleaned this well, dusted the street, it. dusted yeah. it. But um, what I normally do, I, I do this. I bang them together, and you can see all the little starting now coming out. Coming out. Yeah. You get all the rocks and stuff. You can see all the dust coming out, like, like what we saw on the street. Yep. I don't know if the camera's picking up. But this side's pretty clean. The filters are doing what they're designed to do. Yes. But it's just that it's been over 5,000 k's. It's picked up a lot of gunk. You've got to clean it. I mean, you can get away with 10,000, but I think you've travelled more, haven't you? Like. Since I've bought the car, oh, geez. probably done about 30. Wow. Nah. In five years. Yeah, you'll definitely feel the difference. All right, let's go wash it then. All right, now, what we've done here, you buy the uh, recharger kit, comes with two bottles. So when you do the unboxing, like on YouTube, this is what we need. This is the actual cleaner. So we sprayed this on the cleaner and then we hose it down and, and get rid of all that black gunk that we saw yes and to finish the job this is the oil so you spray the oil onto the the filter, the filter oil. and the oil what that does that's what's capturing the dirt so you need this to capture the dirt without this the filter doesn't really capture all the dirt so this is the key the only thing to watch out for especially on the c63s they have the uh mass fo sensors uh, that plug into the air boxes um, and apparently if you put too much oil uh, it will evaporate and, and cover the airflow sensor and uh, cause errors limp mode and stuff like that um, so the trick is not to put too much of the um, red lubricant so off we go let's go wash it down and uh, do the rest do the rest yeah all right here we go give it a good shake and then so basically just spray this stuff on it. One side, and then on the other. And that'll break up all that dirt and grime that you've built up. Yep, so that's step, step one in step the cleaning one. process. Um, just spray the cleaner and uh, yeah give it a minute or so to dissolve step two get a hose and then we'll just hose it down as much as we can and then uh, you can either air dry it in the sun which is what it's recommended uh, if you're in a hurry you can get a hair dryer and, and dry it okay all right so let's go to step two Starting to get its colour back. Yep.
is done. White and all that. Yeah, it certainly looks Good. a lot better than it did. Oh, definitely. You can see straight through it now. You can see the sky. Oh, that's actually something bad. So yeah, to dry, I'll just shake it like this, get all the excess water off. And it is. So we'll start off with this, then I'll wipe it down. And you put it in the sun and let the air in the sun dry it out. Do the work, yep. Yeah. Do all the work for you. Try to get as much water off as you can. I'll go get a cloth and that's it. Water coming. Yeah. That's key. So we're just using a chamois. Yeah. Just a bit. I think there's still a bit more in there. Might have to, or is that? starting to wear out but that's all right it's still once you lubricate it works mine looks like that as well um, but yeah see how you can see through now yeah how good is that it's definitely going to breathe definitely yeah definitely big difference to the black soot <clears throat> so we've cleaned them up now and we're just letting them dry a bit before we get the hair dryer onto them So it's a pretty cold day today, so we thought we'll use the blower and get them to dry quicker. So that's basically what you do. And um, once we've drawn them up, we'll show you the next process. Go. All right, so while, while they're drying, uh, you can either use a vacuum cleaner or a damp cloth and just get all the dust out. Clean the air box out a bit. Okay, look, see, look at all that coming off. All dust. That way your filter lasts longer. You're probably good to do the tops of those two, eh? Yeah. half an hour to an hour of your life but the car man I'm telling you you're gonna feel it tonight when you're driving home or today mm. yeah the old butt dyno does not lie So that's basically cleaning those. Show you the next process shortly, peeps. So okay, ladies and gentlemen, we have come to the last part of the process. So we've cleaned it, it's dried, and now we're going to put the oil on it. So yep. have a look at how much oil um, Tony puts on it, so you get an idea, because you're not supposed to put too much, so you don't stuff up the map sensor. Yeah. 
and then you leave it in the sun to dry and that's it. Mm -hmm. yeah, or you can waft it like that. Yeah, I normally leave it in the sun to dry. How long does it take roughly? Five minutes tops. Oh, okay. That's all right. Five minutes. Yeah. Yeah. Sounds good. Beautiful. Okay. All right, ladies and gents, you've seen, we're going to do the other one, so you've seen that, Maggie's filming it. Okay, ladies and gents, just for, you know, your information, over here, that's a stock filter. That's a, uh, an actual stock Mercedes one. It's actually for the C63, not my car. Because my ones, as you can see, are slimmer. But that is a genuine Mercedes air filter, and these are the K&N performance ones. So that's the difference. Okay, all we've got to do now is whack them in. And that's all there is to it. Both are in. Now we're just going to put the uh, covers back on and we're good to go. Alright, I'd like to give Tony a thanks no worries, for man. doing that for me and uh, being on uh, the channel showing us how it's done. Yep. Me and Tony will be doing a lot more videos in the future regarding stuff like this, so stay tuned for all those. Alright, alright ladies and gentlemen, we've come to the end of the video. Thank you very much for watching, thank you very much for your support. And we'll see you all in the next one. Bye. bye for now and bye Tony. Bye bye.